How's it going everybody? Corbin here from Zoco Marketing. In today's video, we are talking about TikTok lead generation. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about how to create TikTok lead gen forms. Um, these things are great for anybody who's look, looking to collect more leads, especially with the new iOS 14 update. It is helpful to have the lead gen forms, so it makes tracking really easy. It's all inside of the platform instead of using cookies and third-party data, essentially. Uh, so I highly recommend looking into lead gen forms if you are a company that uh, collects leads or <laughs> wants to collect leads. So let's jump right in on how to do this. So the first thing is you will need a TikTok ads manager. If you don't have one already, just go to uh, Google TikTok ads and create the, the ad manager through that platform. Once you're done creating that, you will see a screen that looks something similar to this. And the first thing we're going to want to do is create a campaign. If you are new to TikTok and you want more in-depth way on how to set up a whole campaign, I do have a video down below that you can go check out. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to kind of blow through the settings of targeting and stuff just to get right to the lead gen form. So the first thing you want to do is cl click in here and come to campaigns. And that is where the screen that I'm actually in right now. So we're just going to wait for this to load in. And then we're going to come in and create, hit create here. Now, this is going to drop us into a format very similar to uh, Facebook ads or LinkedIn ads or all the other platforms. Essentially, you have your campaign, you have an ad group level, and then you have the ads itself. For this specific objective, we do have awareness, consideration, and conversion objectives, but for lead generation specifically, we want to choose this new fancy little new uh, red check there uh, for lead generation. So we're going to click on that and we're going to hit continue. I was editing a different ad, so that's why it says that there. And it's there we go. We're going to hit continue. Oh, uh, sorry, come down here to the campaign setting name. So I'm just going to call this test lead gen. And then uh, they do have this new feature called create split test. I haven't tested it myself yet. Stay tuned. I will be creating a video shortly on this and, and the results on and testing that. So subscribe if you're interested in that, but uh, not no experience to speak of, of the create split test yet. We are going to add a budget to this. We do want a hundred dollar daily budget and we're going to hit continue. As I mentioned, if you want more in-depth tutorial on all the settings inside of this ad group, you could do that here. We're going to rename this test ad group as well. If you want more in-depth, you can check out the video up above. I go through all of the TikTok settings and uh, everything that you need to know here. For here, we're going to leave user comments on. We're going to leave video download on, creative type. We're not going to have an automated creative type. We just want the one manual video that we currently have. Audiences, this is um, if you're uploading audiences. Demographics, you can target by like United States, by male, female. You can target different age ranges. Say that you wanted to... Your, your typical people that you're targeting for lead gen is 25 to 30 for 44. You could do that in the United States then languages, no limit. Um, I do recommend if you are going to be targeting the United States to change this. This Usually most uh, ad platforms, they just have a default is English if you're targeting the United States, but um, here it is no limit. So I do recommend changing that to English. Then here is where the kind of bread and butter of the targeting kind of happens. You have interest targeting, uh, behavior targeting. This is things like your remarketing and things, uh, remarketing lists, uh, people who have hit your website or watched videos till the end and then behavior people who followed creators who like um, any of these different topics inside of here. So a lot of different options. If you want to learn more about uh, TikTok ad targeting, like I said, check out the video below. I don't want to bore you with a video that I've already created essentially, but you can go check, check that one out. You have device targeting, target expansion. I do recommend <clears throat> leaving that unchecked. And just as a, a heads up for the daily budget, um, it does need to be at least $20 a day. Uh, depending on the cost of your lead, uh, say that you typically get leads around $10 or $20, whatever it may be, your budget needs to be at least that when you go through the targeting. So say for instance, that I want to get around $5 a lead. And I know that my typical cost uh, or that I want to pay for a lead is $20. I'm going to put it at a hundred dollars a day. You can put a schedule inside of here to see when you want the ads to actually run, you know, when you want it to start, maybe say instead of today, we wanted it to run on Monday, um, on a business day. You can run it continually or you can check here and set an end date. We're going to keep it on running continually. I like here that you can specify time dates and it's not very, it's not a hidden in Facebook. It's kind of hidden to find this option, but here it is easy to figure out. Okay. Maybe if your business um, only operates from eight to 5 PM, you only want to run your lead gen forms between them because that's when you have someone that can actively reach out to that person. You can say, okay, we only want to run Monday through Friday, five to um, military time, confuse me, whatever 8 PM is here. Uh, you kind of get the gist, right? And you could just go through and um, add all those and only do it Monday through um, Friday. And sometimes Friday, you know, four o'clock people are, are not really ready, ready to go. So we're going to leave that one just as is. But just another idea for you as you're creating lead gen campaigns, I do recommend only running these when you have somebody that's actively calling or reaching out to those leads because 
the time it takes, the longer it takes for you to reach out to somebody who fills out one of the forms, obviously the less likely they are going to be to convert. So we're going to now go down here to bidding and optimizations. TikTok has rolled out more uh, bidding strategies and I imagine they will continue to test more as well inside of the platform. Um, for now, for the lead gen targeting, as I mentioned, I do recommend just kind of setting a ballpark on how much you want your leads to be, how much you want your leads to cost. So for this example, as I mentioned, I want to get around five leads a day and uh, I think that I can get leads for around $20. This is going to be a lot of testing. I've noticed that the cost per lead inside of Facebook or LinkedIn or other platforms doesn't really translate as much into TikTok. So keep that in mind. Uh, this is something that you're just going to have to kind of try out, but we're going to ballpark $20 and go for those five leads because we have once again, this hundred dollar budget. Now say for instance, my leads were, um, I wanted to get $110 leads. It's going to give me an error because my, my, uh, targeting is my bid or my daily budget is less than the amount I'm willing to pay for a lead. So keep that in mind as you're doing that targeting, if you get that error, the other ones that you can do inside of here and, and keep it, keep in mind this cost cap, it does not guarantee that you're going to get a $20, $20 lead. It's just saying that's what you want TikTok to optimize towards. So it, it could be very likely that you could get lower cost per leads, or it could be very likely that you get higher cost per leads. So keep that in mind. If you wanted just the lowest absolute cost, you could click here. Um, this is something that's good to play, play it kind of safe if you wanted to do it. Um, when I first started running lead gen campaigns for TikTok, this is what I would do. As I got more confident, I would bump it up to this cost cap. So as I mentioned, every account is so much different, so different. So I don't want you to tell you there's only one way to do something. Uh, it's all about testing and trying new strategies. I'm just trying to speak to the experience that I've had. Uh, the next thing here is you could do a uh, impression based billing event, but we're not going to do that inside of this show more options. We're going to keep it at this cost cap at the $20 and then we're going to hit next. Now on to the actual ad itself. Uh, as you can see here up in this option, you do have a create new ad or you can create a TikTok spark ad, which I do recommend going with TikTok spark ads when you can. Um, this is essentially when you utilize a TikTok influencer to run the ads through their account. Um, I do have a whole video tutorial on how to do this up above um, if you want to learn how to run TikTok spark ads. But if you don't have that luxury of having a, an influencer account, then you can stick with this normal kind of creative and upload your own video that you've created. Now I do recommend naming this. Um, we're gonna name this super cool ad because um, this ad is gonna be super cool. We got a single video that we are using. We're gonna upload a video that I have here of my uh, ugly face. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna hit upload this. Wait for that to upload real quick. This is a, a video that I've just, uh, I posted on my TikTok account. If you don't follow me already on TikTok, Zoco Marketing, link is down below, shameless plug. Uh, I do post a lot on TikTok. Uh, marketing tips essentially while this is loading, but this is one of the videos that I've created uh, just quick on a, on a cell phone essentially. And these are, these are the things that typically perform the best for TikTok ads. I find that the more production value are, that there is inside of the videos, the less native it looks to the platform. And as a result, it doesn't perform as well. So TikTok's motto is all about don't create ads, create TikToks. And I find that that tends to be very true is that you want the, the ad to look very native to the platform. And this is still loading, still loading. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We're gonna wait here just a second. Maybe I might need to cut. All right, and there we are. We got our success, so now we can confirm. And there is the video that I have up right here for this specific one. A couple of things inside of here, TikTok thumbnail. You could change the thumbnail that you wanted to start this video. So say that I wanted to start it with my face. <laughs> Those are some bad faces there. Or this diagram or whatever. You know, if I wanted to start it right here where these, this little title, the hook is, at um, Facebook Ad Secrets to get more sales part four that you could do that so you can change that inside of there. TikTok does have this nice little video editor. I do like to have my videos edited before I put them in there, but something for you to keep in mind. All right, next we can add the display name here and I'm just gonna call this at, uh, and it already has a little at, so don't make the mistake of putting it, you know, it's there in this left-hand corner. Now there's two at, so just do Zoco Marketing, leave it like that. And then this is promoting one of my free uh, Facebook ads um, account templates. I'm just gonna say free Facebook ad account template. Click the link. Uh, no, we'll just keep it at that. Free Facebook ad account template because the video in the video at the end, I give a call to action to check out my bio to uh, get that uh, specific asset. Now this thing is kind of cool, this smart text. I haven't actually tried it yet, but it will translate your text into 55 different languages. Uh, it does seem like a very beta um, kind of product right now that they're rolling out. So I would, I haven't tested it yet because I just think it's a little bit too new for that, but something to keep in mind if you want to translate that and do 55 different languages. I think that's a really cool thing, thing that TikTok is doing. Next is we have the call to action. Um, for this one, as I mentioned, I do want people to go through and click and get that, uh, download that uh, template. So here uh, you have lots of different call to actions. You have download, shop now, sign up, contact us, 
find out all these different things. So we're going to hit that and our ad is looking good. And then you can add a profile picture here. If you'd like, we're not going to, we're going to go through and, and skip this spot. And then here is where we get to the TikTok lead gen forms. So this is where you can create your forms. If you already have created forms in the past, they will show up right here. But if you haven't before, and this is your first time running a lead gen form campaign, then they will, you'll see something that looks just like this. So we're going to come over here to create, and you're going to notice that there is a new form inside of here. So you have the advanced form and then you have the classic form. I'm going to go through the classic form first, and then we're going to go through the advanced form after that. So let's jump right into this, the inside of the classic form. Uh, this is very similar. I actually really like these forms compared to LinkedIn lead gen forms or Facebook lead gen forms. I think there's other, there's a lot more customizations that you can do. And I'm really excited for these lead gen forms. So the first thing that we have is the form configuration is the name. So you could say, you know, English, all the different things. It is important to, I always forget to name my LinkedIn lead gen forms. I do recommend doing this. So for this one, we, this is the free Facebook um, ad account template. This just makes it easy for you to know where you're sending people when they are, you know, say you have five different eBooks or five different things that you're promoting. You want to make sure you're naming each lead gen form so that you can quickly, quickly click that one, that option instead of having to click into each different setting and see where you're actually sending people to. So this is for my free Facebook ad account template form type. Uh, this, I love this option. So this option, uh, a common complaint people get with Facebook uh, lead gen forms is that they bring in a lot of volume, but sometimes the quality or the intent isn't very high. TikTok has really saw, I've done a great job of, of providing a solution to this is where you can go with the option of more volume. And what this does is essentially it doesn't, uh, it gives you the least amount of questions so people can just fill out the forms and you get the, the most amount of leads possible. I recommend when you're starting off to just keep this at more volume. But as you as you talk with your sales team or you're talking to, to the people that are reaching out to the leads and the, the quality just isn't great, that's where you could say, okay, team, I can actually change this setting where I have a more high intent volume for these TikTok lead gen forms so we can give them another shot. And you'll notice when I switch over to this higher intent, it's going to add like uh, another question inside of here. So higher intent, you notice all of a sudden it gives us this review screen option. So now let's go through all of these different options inside of here. So the first thing we have is the introduction. And then here's where we can add our logo. So we're going to go find a logo real quick. We're going to click on there. We can give our display name. So this is Zoco Marketing and then a headline. So as you can see here on this headline, you can add a pretty long description. I'm not sure the exact character count. I've never actually hit the, <laughs> the limit where it says you can't uh, type anything else in there. I do recommend taking care of taking advantage of this real estate. You can get really witty with this copy just to, to add that last little jab to make sure somebody's filling out the form for you. So we have our logo here. We have the, um, the headline. And then now is where you here is where you can come in and edit the questions. The default is for the email and name questionnaire. If you don't need any more information, I'd obviously recommend keeping this form as lean as possible. The least amount of questions that you need to give um, over the least amount of questions you need to generate the better. But if you need to add more, you could do so here. You can do contact information, all of these different options. You can do user info, first name, last name, and then demographic for the gender. If you wanted to add a customized question, you could do so by uh, either a short answer form, multiple choice or appointment scheduling. Use these wisely. As I mentioned, the more, the more questions you ask somebody in a form fill, obviously the lower your conversion rate will be. So just keep that in mind. Next is the privacy policy. You will need to make sure that you uh, add a privacy policy. So here is the company name, Zoco Marketing, and then I'm going to grab my privacy policy right here real quick. We're going to add that inside of there. Um, you can add a customer disclaimer if you'd like. We're not going to for this option. Now we have the review screen. This is where it's essentially like another opt-in. People, essentially TikTok just asks before they submit the form, are you sure you want to submit this form? And this is where, it, the, and this is that option for the more high quality leads. If you uncheck just more volume, then you won't have this review screen. Next, we have the thank you. So thanks for your response. Tap the below to learn more or hit the button. And now we need to go grab the URL of the asset. So we're going to come over here. Here's the Facebook um, ad account secret or Facebook ad account template. We're going to hit that. And then I'm going to, for the button text, get template. So as you can see, as a result of this, people will not even hit my website. They will literally just go or they'll, they'll hit the website at the very end. But after I've collected that lead gen form, there's a lot of value in this, especially with uh, iOS 14 and cookies possibly going away. Um, so I do recommend testing out lead gen forms if you can. Now that that is done, we're going to hit complete here or we're going to save this form. Oh, I have an error with one of the questions. Here it is asking for a purpose statement, why we are collecting the information. So say you're getting a quote, say you're a roofer and want to uh, get a quote. You can say, reach out to, or fill out the form below to get your free customized quote. For this, we're going to say, fill out the form. 
to get your free Facebook ad account template. So that is the purpose for why the user will be filling out the form. So now that that is done, we can come through here and hit complete, let that load up. And then now, as you can see, going forward, I will not have to recreate this form every time if I wanted to run another ad to that form, I could just come through and click this exact form. Now I do wanna show you real quick the uh, more advanced form. Uh, there's a couple different 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 differences that I want to just show you real quick on that. So we're going to hit create and then we're going to come over here to the advanced form. So the biggest things that are different with the advanced form is you'll notice that the, right from the beginning you have here, uh, the form type is the exact same, form configuration, exact same, branding and images. So this is really the biggest difference in the uh, advanced form is you can come over here and you can actually add a brand image, which I really like. It can really uh, lighten up and differentiate your form from other people's. So we can come in here, we'll upload a, uh, a image. For this, I'm actually gonna use it as if I was running ads for my DIY blog. We're gonna hit this, uh, we're gonna grab this nice looking photo of the bed and wall. We're gonna hit confirm. And then you can kind of get an example of what this form will look like in the advanced mode. So you can see here, it gives you a nice little picture that you could go through and add. You can then uh, also add your logo right there. So we're gonna scroll down. You can change the color scheme. So if you wanted it dark, light, or to match the smart color, it kind of gives it a brown based on the color of uh, everything that's going on back here. We're gonna keep it in this dark mode because I kind of really like that. And I'm gonna move myself. I'm just clearly right in the way. And then here we have the introduction. So same thing, you can go through and add your logo. Um, we'll add that right now, just so you can see kind of the finished form of what exactly this looks like. We'll grab this logo right here. Uh, is it gonna let me, there we go. We have our logo, we're gonna confirm. So it gives us a nice little logo, a picture, display name, we're gonna call this house to home DIY. And then you can go through and add a headline like this is a long headline, get the idea. Um, promotional slogan, so this is kinda nice, you can go through and add a slogan here. This can be things like coupons or um, they say something like offers, discounts, things like that. So another way that you can customize your form. And then same thing as the other one, you can go through and add your questions, your privacy policy, your thank you, your thank you after you fill out the form, what do you call it? Thank you screen. And then the last thing that is different is you can add an additional image here. And I'll just show you really quick what this looks like. You can flick this little thing on and you can update an image. And we'll grab something just really quick right here, just like that. And there's a picture of me just chilling on a bed with a bedroom makeover. We're gonna hit confirm, wait for this to load up. And it just adds more flavor to your form, makes it seem like it's not something so boring. Uh, and there is what that would look like on the bottom of that form. So we're gonna hit uh, save and complete on this one. Oh, but it's not gonna give me the options to uh, complete this one because I haven't filled in the questions or the purpose statement, the privacy policy, and the thank you screen. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not actually gonna be using this form, so I'm just gonna exit out of that, but you get the idea on how, what those kind of look like. So then we're gonna hit exit. And then once you're done with that and you've had your form submitted, you have everything happy, you, everything looks good with the ad that you have, you can then go through and hit submit. You can also add your tracking URLs and tracking uh, click URL. If you wanna learn more about the TikTok pixel, I also have a video of that up above if you wanna learn how to set up the TikTok pixel. And then finally is to go through and hit submit. I'm not gonna do it for this uh, specific ad because this is just an example, but that's what you would do. And now I'm gonna show you how to download those leads after the form has been submitted, where to go through and get actually uh, pull those leads so that you can call them or do whatever you need to with them essentially. All right, and here, so say that after you're, after you've run your ads and now you're starting to see leads coming in, this is where you can come in through and actually download those specific leads um, from TikTok. So where I went from here is up in this top left-hand corner, you see assets, you're gonna wanna go to assets and then come down here to creative. Once you click on creative, it will load up this screen for us. And then you'll notice there are a lot of different options up here, images, videos, playable, spark ads. And then you wanna click on this one right here, which is instant forms. Inside of instant forms, then you will be able to then download lead data and that gives you the option to download all those leads, of course. And that is everything that I have for you today. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. If you are interested in learning more about TikTok ads or new features as they come out, it feels like nowadays TikTok is coming out with a new feature once every month or, or sometimes more. Um, I do stay on top of all these features and create videos as soon as I can. So if that's something that interests you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you get notified as soon as new features come out in TikTok ads. And we'll see you in the next video.